Hi everybody, it's me, Corey Summers. I wanted to take a moment to talk with you guys about a very real scam going on right now in Los Angeles. And I think it's important to share because for one, it really truly freaked me out. And you need to be aware that, you know, right now there are people that have nothing better than to do than to try to get money from you. And in this stressful time of the coronavirus and COVID and shelter in place, we need to share with one another some of the things that are happening so that you don't fall prey to it. So here's what happened. I was at a client's house. They just closed on their property. We were all excited. They moved in. I was checking up on them, picking up a lockbox, and we were just catching up. And my phone rings. So I pick it up because I pick up all calls and I know some people are like, oh, I never pick up a call. It's not my phone. That's great. Unfortunately, I can't do that. People call me all the time. My phone number is on the internet. It is everywhere. So I pick up this call and this gentleman says that he's with the Santa Monica Police Department. I'm like, okay, why are you calling me? He goes, you failed to show up in court and there's a warrant out for your arrest. What are you talking about? Well, ma'am, you were subpoenaed to show up in court as an expert witness. I'm like, well, if I was subpoenaed to show up as an expert witness, when was I subpoenaed? Where was I subpoenaed? And why would there be a warrant out for my arrest? So what he claimed was on June 20th, officers showed up with a subpoena. I said, interesting. He goes, it was signed for by you. I said, well, that's impossible. Um, that never happened. Please tell me where this was delivered. It's delivered to my office address. Hmm. Well, sir, that's very strange because my office was closed during the month of July. There's literally no one working in the office. So please share with me again, how did this happen? Well, ma'am, you were subpoenaed and you failed to show. And so the judge has issued several citations. Wait a minute. I thought you just said there was a warrant out for my arrest. Yes, ma'am, there's a warrant, but the judge has issued several citations. And he names a judge, Otis Robinson. I think it was Otis Robinson. And I was like... This is not making any sense. Like, I, this is just really not making any sense to me. Can I please speak to your supervisor? Meanwhile, I say to my client, look up this number. Look up the Beverly, I mean, the, the Santa Monica Police Department number. It's the same number. Okay. So this gentleman comes on the phone. He says his name is Stahl Rodriguez. He says he's the supervisor. His name is Stahl Rodriguez. He's like, ma'am, my officer has shared with you. You have a warrant out for your arrest. You need to come down here and be fingerprinted. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean I need to be fingerprinted? He goes, well, ma'am, we have to verify your signature. So we have to do a signature verification. And what you're going to have to do is write your name on a blank piece of paper and then do a digital signature. And we'll compare those with the signature on the subpoena. And if they don't match, that's fine. You'll be fine. And all charges will be dropped. I'm like, but this isn't making sense. You're saying there was a subpoena for me to go to court. What exactly was I going to court for? You were going to be an expert witness. Okay, an expert witness to what? Well, this is regarding some of your listing, one of your listings, ma'am. There was a, a an assault that took place at one of your listings. What? What are you talking about? Well, ma'am, I can't share that with you because it involved a child. Okay, let me get this straight. You're claiming that at one of my listings, something happened to a child. Yes, ma'am. I said it and I'm assuming this happened during this corona shelter in place. Yes, ma'am. Well, that doesn't make any sense because I've accompanied everybody to all of my listing showings because my listings at this present time are being very controlled. So, sir, what are you talking about? Well, ma'am, you had to show up in court as and testify. And because you didn't testify, we need to verify if the signature is you and you need to come down to the police department. I'm like, well, why do I need to come down to the police department exactly? He said, well, ma'am, you need to get fingerprinted. I said, am I being arrested? Ma'am, you need to get fingerprinted. And he's getting like a little bit more aggressive. So meanwhile, my friend is on the phone with the the Santa Monica Police Department. And this guy starts getting more and more aggressive and he's like, you're gonna have to be bonded out. And I'm like, nothing that you're saying to me right now makes sense. And he's like, well, ma'am, I see that you have a clean record. If you want all this to go away, you're gonna have to be bonded out. Again, this is just not making sense. So I asked my friend to give me the phone. So I say, you know, to the person that's on the other line, I said, is this the Santa Monica Police Department? She said, yes. I said, I'm talking to someone on my phone who's claiming to be, um, Officer Stahl Rodriguez. Is Officer Stahl Rodriguez right there? And she said, is that the person talking? And I said, yeah. She goes, hang on. That is not the Officer Stahl Rodriguez. So what she shared with me, and the reason I wanted to record this today and share this with all of you is there is a scam going on. What they are doing is looking up names of detectives, um, supervisors, judges, 
getting the phone numbers for the police departments, the addresses, and they're calling people and threatening and intimidating you that there's a warrant out for your arrest with all these fake citations and trying to get you to over the phone give up money. Now, my conversation didn't get that far because, again, thankfully, I was with a friend who was like, what? And and we're all like, what? What? Like, this doesn't make any sense. And we're like, oh, but because I was with someone else, there was more than one phone. We were able to call the police department. My best recommendation to you is when you get these types of calls, because there was a scam involving the social security office, there was a scam involving Apple, there's a scam involving police departments. Tell them, excuse me, I have to take this call. Let me call you right back. Call the number back. Because what they do is they spoof the phone numbers to look like numbers they're not. And honestly, I can see where someone who's older, who lives alone, who just would be completely freaked out by something like this. And I'm being really honest. I was like, what the heck is going on? You can't be serious. A warrant for my arrest. I was totally freaked out. Take a moment, breathe, hang up and call back. Chances are it's just a scam. Unfortunately, what is so sad today is police officers and detectives use these same tactics. They lie to you to get you to say something that they later use to um, prosecute you and use to pull a charge against you. So be very, very careful with anyone that is claiming to be a police officer on the phone. That's just my little tip, um, just from me personally. And again, please protect yourself. This is the latest scam that is transpiring all across Southern California.